Jason heard a loud bang, and his head snapped towards the plane's windows. What was going on? Jason tried to shake the birds, but he had to be careful. If a single bird would hit the engines, the whole plane could go down. The birds seemed to get more aggressive the harder Jason tried to get them off his plane. Jason had no idea why the birds were getting more and more aggressive. Before we start, can we get this video to 1000 likes? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. In the cabin, the passengers were starting to get anxious. By the time, Jason felt confident enough to assure the passengers that they had everything under control. He knew it was too late. He didn't know what was going on, what triggered the birds, and what he could do to calm them down. Jason had to call flight control to see what his options were. The number of birds kept increasing, and they got even more aggressive. But there was a problem. He couldn't seem to get a hold of anyone from flight control. The passengers could hardly watch out of the windows because it was blacked out by birds. This darkened the whole plane, which gave off a horrifying vibe. Jason had to act fast. Jason tried with all his power to gain altitude with the plane to shake the birds. But if he climbed too steep, it would endanger everyone on the plane. Moreover, the number of birds was so extremely high that they started to steer the plane down. Jimmy gasped when he saw buildings approaching. They were now hovering very dangerously above the city. Luckily for Jason, he could steer the plane to the countryside. He realized that it was futile to try and gain altitude. He had to get back to the airport, and he had to land the plane. But how? Finally, Jason got the call to immediately turn around the plane to the nearest landing strip. Flight control had told them to redirect to a smaller airport closer to their current position. They had a couple of birds, which seemed to trigger them even more. The birds now kept hitting the plan, and small cracks started to show in the windows. Jason got informed that emergency services were already en route to the airstrip. Jason just had to make sure he could reach the airstrip. Only then could they help them out. He had to do everything in his power to not crash. But when reaching the countryside, it got even worse. Immediately, when leaving the city area, Jason noticed that the last part of the airstrip would get even worse. From the nearby forest, more birds emerged. They were instantly drawn to the plane. Jason got the feeling this could only end up in a disaster. Jason noticed that the more birds attacked the plane, the closer they got to the engines. If many birds flew into the engines, it wouldn't be good. Jason was fully focused on reaching the strip when he heard a loud bang. The plane started shaking, and Jason could hardly control it. The plane was also losing altitude. The passengers noticed this and immediately started screaming in distress. The worst thing that could have happened was happening. The engine burst in flames, and the passengers could see it through the window. There was only one option that Jason could think of. This was his last shot. While descending, he saw a body of water in the distance, and he calculated that he could barely make a landing in the water. This was their only saving grace. Landing on land with being rough, it would probably end up crashing the plane. Jason barely managed to land the plane in the water. It was not a soft landing, but it made sure that the plane did not break into pieces. They could not stay inside the plane. They had to evacuate. Jason tried to push open one of the exits, but it was completely stuck. He got a little emotional due to the stress and desperation. Luckily, one of the stewardesses managed to get the other exit open. The plane was slowly sinking, but they realized that they had enough time to get everyone safely out of the plane. The crew tried to calm everyone down, but some people did not care for anyone else but themselves and tried to get out first, which they immediately regretted. The birds started attacking the people who got out first. Luckily, when most of them dived into the water, they were actually left alone. Some birds even flew into the plane, but they were mostly aggressive toward the entrance to the baggage room. What was in there? The Coast Guard made sure everyone got out of the water safely. More boats were now approaching, so everyone could be saved. The passengers kept pointing to the wreck of the plane. When Jason turned his head around, he gasped. The birds just kept circling around the plane. It was like they were actively looking for something inside. Jason was confused. He seriously had no idea what could cause all these birds to react like this. But it got even worse when the Coast Guard tried to get closer. When trying to get closer, 
the birds got even more alert. It looked like they did not intend to let the Coast Guard get close to the plane. But the Coast Guard was very stubborn. Despite Jason's warnings, they sailed closer. Immediately, when reaching the wreck, they got attacked by the birds. This actually scared the crew so much that they jumped off the ships. They swam back to the other boats. The passengers and cabin crew were totally baffled. What was in the plane? As they got closer, the birds started swarming again. The workers saw the sky darken with birds. This was a clear sign that they would have to wait. They called for backup to ensure the birds would be scared. This was the only way. The birds, this time, swarmed the ships when they were further away. The crew that was outside got swarmed. Luckily, they quickly found their way inside. The tugboats could get closer because the birds couldn't reach the captain. Luckily, Jason came up with a plan. He had heard learn during his education that airports scare birds by making sounds. He told the Coast Guard that they could scare the birds off. The Coast Guard immediately acted upon this and fully blasted sounds out of their speakers. Then something happened. The birds actually reacted to the high-pitched noises and fled back into the forest. The Coast Guard knew if they stopped now, the birds would return. This was their opening to ensure the plane could be towed out of the water. Under guidance from the Coast Guard, the tugboats could attach their cables to the plane. They started pulling. Luckily, the plane was easily towed. It would just be a matter of time before the plane could be searched. In the meantime, the police arrived as well. Jason was responsible for the plane, so he was immediately asked questions by the police. Jason had nothing to hide from the police, so he told them it was just a regular flight. He had made this flight almost every week without any hinder, until today. He remarked that the birds, when entering the plane, were immediately going for the luggage room. This could actually be the key to finding out what happened here today. The police asked detailed questions about the luggage, but Jason referred them to the passengers. They would have the answers. All of the passengers, although very shaken, were immediately answering all of the police's questions about what they were carrying and what was in their luggage, except for one person who was set aside by the police. This one person was very shady about why he was making this trip. With almost every sentence he spoke, he contradicted himself. The police actually found this very suspicious. He did not want to answer when they asked him about his luggage. They did a background check on him. This raised even more questions. His passport seems to be fake. This could not be good. The only way they could now identify him was by his fingerprints. When they put this in the database, they got a hit. This man was a convicted felon who had just got released. The government sealed his documents, so they had no idea what they were exactly dealing with. But all kinds of alarm bells went off. They still had to figure out what he was transporting and why the birds reacted. Luckily, the plane was finally taken out of the water. A special research team arrived at the scene to ensure everything was carefully searched. But before they could even enter the plane, they heard many sounds. The birds had realized that the ships had sailed away and that the sound was now in the distance. They immediately swarmed the plane rack. The police suspected they were trying to get into the luggage department. The research team now got closer to speakers. They scared the birds off and entered the plane. It wasn't easy to get close to the luggage since the plane was totally destroyed. Immediately upon opening the door, they heard something. Out of the luggage department, they heard concerning sounds. When they made their way closer to the suitcases, they could pinpoint the exact suitcases the sound was coming from. When opening it, they all gasped. They immediately called to inform the police to detain the shady passenger. The name on the suitcase matched the name on the fake passport he had given when checking in. The research team carefully took the suitcases out of the plane. Jason ran towards them and turned pale when he saw what was in them. He realized that the man was smuggling exotic birds. After calling more law enforcement, they got the exact details of why the man was detained. He was already detained for exotic smuggling animals before. When released, he just started again. Jason got emotional. Eventually, the man was charged and would never be released again. He was charged with endangering the passengers as well. The birds attacked the plane because they could hear the exotic birds calling for help. Jason was at the trial and burst into tears from relief. Everyone was safe, and that was all that mattered.